Uh, missed the first time, we've got to give up. Now, ben Bennett was a big plus for Melbourne yesterday. He kicked eight goals. It's one of the things that the Demons have been lacking. He's a, a, a sharp shooter up forward, a man that they can fire into, and they kicked 20 goals yesterday. They didn't do that very often last year. One-hander against the Kangaroos. Darren Bennett was in great form. Kicked eight goals for Melbourne yesterday, and one of them came from that mark. Stephen Newport, not known for his high marking, took a beauty on the wing against North Melbourne and Dwyer Straubs and goals for Melbourne. With well, North Melbourne yesterday and uh, they obviously have worked very hard on the tackling aspect of their game and they've continually put pressure on North and didn't allow North to get any system flowing at all and uh, their smaller players and young players found it very hard to cope with and appeared to be a little frustrated particularly late in the game but uh, also of course as, as expected it all started in the centre where unfortunately for North they went into the game Without their, uh, their most promising ruckman in Hepburn, he didn't take his place in the side. That allowed O'Dwyer and Stein to com completely dominate that area, open the gate for uh, their Rovers and running players. Clark in particular looks a, a great asset for the Melbourne side if he can continue in that vein. Lovett took over the pivot position and uh, showed polish there. He's very much in the Greg Williams mould, very creative. Tingay off the bench onto the wing was a good uh, contributor. Newport and Wilson, they all relished in the, the opportunities given to the big play or by the big players. Their back line was tight where Yates, Tingay and Stretch were, were dominant and of course the icing on the cake was up forward with uh, Bennett kicking eight. Who would have North missed the most, Hepburn or Martin? Well that's a hard one. I think uh, Martin obviously adds a lot of stability into that back line. He's, uh, he's mean as we all know and he would have been missed but I, I think Hepburn at least has shown a great deal of promise in the ruck and really that's where, to my way of thinking, they really gained the first use of the ball. So I'd have to say Hepburn for the number of times he would have been in the play. Kel, a, new th a lot of new faces at Melbourne, uh, Clark, Spencer, Obst, how did they go? Uh, most of them performed very well. I've already mentioned uh, uh, Clark as a rover, a big asset for them if he can continue. He continually broke up the play with his great pace, delivered the ball well. Ops was very impressive also. He certainly knows what it's about. Not much of him. Certainly has a go. Spencer, I'm not completely convinced with him as yet, but uh, certainly a handy player. So really, you know, they're getting good value. Well, they got good value yesterday from all their good players. Folks, yesterday, as, uh, as I mentioned, Stephen Phoebe was outstanding across the half-back line. Three votes. Darren Bennett, great exhibition of marking and uh, long kicking for goal. And uh, he got two, and Brett Lovett. And there did well for them. Alvin closed down. Gun forward on his hands. He said, ask me after round 22. Not now. But he's very pleased, of course, with Bennett. But he's got a few injuries tonight. Lyons got a hip. Spencer a jarred knee. And Sean White has pulled a hamstring again. And will be out for another three weeks. Well, just briefly.